Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, today I'm going to be creative with a uh, piece of wood. And it's supposed to uh, put some candles. How do you call them? Tea lights? Waxing lights, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just call them uh, candles. Small candles. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't like this piece of wood. It was brown. I found it at a second hand shop. Um, how much did we pay for it? About a dollar each? I, yeah, I think 75 euro cents. Yeah, 75 euro cents, something like that. So it's really cheap. And I thought, well, why not? So. I started with uh, grinding it just a little and put some uh, gesso as a starter. Gesso. Gesso, whatever. <laughs> and I want to make something like a, a zebra print. I made a mirror a while ago. This is it. The mirror. Yeah. So I want to make something like this. So I'm going to start with um, mixing the paint. It's just going to be black and white. And I'm going to use these cups. So you have any idea um, how much the... How, uh, how much to mix uh, with each other. Okay, I'm going to use this cup. Um, so you can see how much uh, the mixture will be from paint and thinner. So it's just going to be black and white. Okay. Let's see what we can make. Except for the big mess, which is usually what I make. I'm going to start with white. And I'm thinking about filling up the cup. So this is about, um, pom, 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 pom. let's see, about uh, 120 milliliters. Um, at this moment, that's why I'm steering it so I can read it again. It's about, uh, well, let's make it 200 in total. So that's 120 milliliters of paint and 80 milliliters of thinner. Thinner, yes. Okay. Now let's see how thick it will be. So there's room left to add some uh, thinner or some paint, which will be probably necessary. It's way too thin. So I'm going to Fill it up to um, 250, 250 milliliters. It's very hard to mix it. Just keep on stirring. Yeah, 
Yeah. This is a total of 250 uh, milliliters. And it's um, 170 uh, paint and 80 uh, thinner. Do you think this will be enough? Yes. It's enough paint. Okay. But you have to stir it. So. Yeah, a lot more. Yes. Especially with white, there uh, most of the time there is a lot of lumps in it. With, in, with black paint, that's not the case. But with white, yeah. it's always. Just keep on stirring. I think this, uh, this should be it. I hope you can see it. So I'm going to let this uh, just stand a little. And I'm going to do the same with the black. As I'm not sure if the ratio will be the same, because black is different than white, I'm just going to see how it will work out. That wasn't me. We have some more black? Yes. Thank you. Start out with 150 milliliters black. And I've added some thinner up to 225. And just started steering. Pumpty doom. I'm not going to add any silicone or whatever. No oil, no soap, no glue, nothing. Just paint and thinner. Acrylic thinner. There's a lot of air in it at the moment, so that's why I am uh, let it stand for a uh, well, long time. So most of the air will start floating and get out. And all the air that's still inside, um, right after the pouring, I'm going to use a torch to get the little pieces out.
and the ratio is, let me see, 250 uh, totally, uh, about one, yeah, one, 170 uh, paint and 80 uh, thinner. It's from a local hardware store and it's called The Pyrel. And how much did you pay for it for half a liter? I think two and a half or three euros. Yeah, two and a half, three euros, something like that. So and what uh, does it say? What is it for? It's for all water carried paints. So, it's so just when there's a water base. Uh, you can use it as a thinner. It says acrylic thinner. Yeah, acrylic thinner. Okay. Yep. Okay, and now we wait. Time for coffee. Okay, it's been a while um, resting, so now I'm going to um, put them in this little cup, which I'm going to use for the pouring part. So it's going to be about 50-50, uh, I hope. Let's hope this will work. Um, now I'm going to, let's see if you can see this, yeah, I'm going to stir it just very little. Let's see what we can make of it. And you can see at the bottom it's black and white. Uh, I'm going to uh, do the pouring on this way and when I'm finished I'm going to clean this up just a little so the holes won't be filled with paint all the way. Um, I'm going to do this side so when it starts coming over the edge there will be black and white visible. So I'm going to start with this side and see how it uh, how it will work out. 
going to be a mess on the bottom but um, I put some uh, yeah we call it baking paper it's just waxed paper so it may come off easy and it may not Now let's see if we can make something magic and if not, well then not. I'm really using a lot of paint and it's got to go over the edge as well. I like the way it looks. It can be on my table. Yeah, are yeah. sure? Yeah, sure. Maybe you can tilt it a little bit uh, back and forward to cover the sides. Turned out uh, pretty good. Yeah. It looks kind of a jungle print, like kind of a jungle print zebra. Yeah, it looks lovely. If your hands are clean, maybe you can zoom in. Uh, yeah. At the end, I will uh, place up some, uh, put some uh, photos. Okay. Yeah, that looks like beautiful decoration. Can't wait to put some candles in it. You have to. Hmm? You have to wait. <laughs> I know. Is it dry yet? Almost. <laughs> no, this is okay. Uh, sweetie. No. no. 
I love the way. The big head inside. Very pretty. I can leave this. Yeah. I think maybe you should uh, cover the whole bottom because I think it looks nice. Yeah. Just use your stick to. Uh, yeah. You can use your stick to remove the paint. And also from there, from uh, what's already in it, I mean. Mm -hmm. Scoop something up in uh no, I don't have to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Now let's just wait a little. Nice close up. 